Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen me before, my name is Alyssa and I come from Norway. I'm currently studying in the Netherlands, so now I live in the Netherlands, studying abroad, which is really really cool. And I'm soon a graduate, like I'm soon and like finishing my bachelor. So yeah, uh, today I am gonna talk a little bit about the future, what's gonna happen now, and uh, what has been like some of my difficulties during Corona times and yeah what i've been up to lately so i know i haven't spent a lot of time on this channel and i really want to get back into it so i thought that i can't just like upload a regular vlog like nothing has happened the last six months so here it's a little bit of a kind of recap uh, question q a type of thing um video so i hope you enjoy and let's get started I already filmed this once but I'm gonna film it again and actually add some new questions because I wasn't really happy with the first video. Let's get started. What have I been up to was the first question and that I wrote down and well it's been a crazy crazy ride to be honest. Um, yeah I have been interning at Unilever and yeah since January I've been writing my thesis. So since the last video that I filmed I have been writing my thesis. I got a really good grade for that one. I'm really happy with it at least. And yeah, I have been super, super productive <laughs> and working full time for my internship, basically. I've also been to like an intern day that was super, super fun at, at the other office for Unilever, which was so much fun. Uh, I met a lot of new interns, uh, like a lot of new people. And yeah, people have been really, really nice to me uh, since I started the <laughs> internship. Well, like when I met new people like everybody at the company was really nice to me and yeah if you're watching this thank you so much for making my experience really really great and yeah um other things that I've been up to I colored my hair I don't know if you can see it like really on the camera but before like you can see that since corona it has grown back a lot so this much of uh, my hair has grown out since uh, March so yeah I colored it like brown like light brown and I'm really happy with it uh, I am gonna change it like to this color again when I um, can uh, go to the hairdresser again at the moment the hairdressers are open but not every single hairdresser and uh, the hairdresser that I went to is not open at the moment so I'm just waiting for them to reopen and yeah I still live in the Netherlands I was planning to go back to Norway for the summer but unfortunately that's not gonna happen because yeah um my twin actually got a full-time job during the whole summer and we were gonna go on a road trip and everything so we had this everything planned with like going on a road trip to norway because i haven't really done that before and we thought it would be a really nice uh twin trip together but unfortunately that's not gonna happen now so for this summer i'm just gonna prepare for my masters so yeah on like when you guys are watching this video i already taken the entry exam for the master's degree and i hope that i will get in i will update you guys in the upcoming videos on what's gonna happen but i got a conditional offer for um university of tilburg so like this was super scary because it looked like this was the subtitle like the subject line of my email application to tilburg university decision like with big capitals and uh, capitalized um, letters which was a little bit scary when I saw the the subject line but I'm very pleased and that I got a, a positive outcome so yeah I just wanted to show you guys the subject line it was um, a bit scary uh, and I'm really excited about that of course but I'm also waiting for uh, like another master a degree like a conditional offer for another master's degree to see um, which one I want to pick and yeah in the Netherlands I think there is like a maximum of four masters that you can apply for uh, at the same time and I only applied for two and yeah so it's between the two of them but we'll see if I get into the other one and um, yeah now I actually got an email where it said that I got into the masters so we <laughs> i actually got into two masters right now which is so crazy like yesterday i opened the email and then it said 
like results of the entry exam for Erasmus University and yeah so I got in so ah, this is so crazy it is like really really cool I'm really excited to be starting my pre-master and then a master's uh, next year for yeah for my master's basically in media and business so I actually applied like in December I think I applied really really early or like January something like that like really beginning of the year uh, I applied for the masters for the pre-masters and I also talked with the previous student about the the program and then she was like yeah I really recommend it like that was like in August no in September last year or October last year I talked with one of the current student students and they said like yeah it's a really good program I really enjoy it it's really nice and uh, she did the same study as me which was European studies and uh, yeah now I only have one exam left and then I have another assignment to do and then I'm basically done with my bachelor's. So how is your twin doing? So my twin is doing really really great. She is currently working a lot. She works at it like an interior store in Norway and uh, yeah she also is uh, <laughs> also graduating. So she's actually graduating a month before me because in Norway you graduate in May, June and in uh, the Netherlands you graduate in july so yeah i'm really really excited for her to graduate and yeah she finished her thesis and i'm really happy that she is now done with all of her assignments i still have one more assignment to do so i'm trying to work on that as uh, much as possible basically a work placement portfolio so it's gonna be like a assignment about how my internship experience was so trying to write about the company and then I write about my experience, what uh, my working activities were, the corporate culture and everything like that. So that's one of the mandatory assignments that I have for the final year. And when I'm done with that, then I'm officially done with my studies. So that's kind of crazy because everything is kind of, uh, yeah, ending or like starting or yeah, I don't know how to say it, but like, yeah, it is. Uh, a crazy experience at the moment like it's a crazy time and I really want to look back at this time and be like wow uh, This is crazy. So yeah, and uh, today it is the 22nd of May Friday, so I'm free today. It's really really nice Yesterday was uh, like a national holiday in the Netherlands. So I also got a day off yesterday This is the main reason why I love Rotterdam so much like right now. It's not even 10 o'clock and look at this view this is like the whole city this little thing here is Euromast and over there is like the Hotel New York and everything is there and there over there is like the metro station oh yeah I'm sorry that this is gonna turn out to be like a chit chat just talking video I feel like I haven't been on this channel and for a long time like I've been uploading videos but on my Norwegian channel so I started my Norwegian channel and I pumped up it's like a shit ton of videos in uh, December for vlogmas so I uploaded like every day for vlogmas which was really really fun and my twin also joined into the video so that was a lot of fun too um, since then and then uh, I've been uploading like a video every week on that channel but at the same time I really want to keep going with this channel because uh, thanks to you guys it's like yeah I yeah I'm just really happy with how this channel also goes but like I still feel a little bit insecure when I speak English in front of the camera because it's not my first language so I can make some mistakes and stuff like that and I don't have a problem with that when I am speaking Norwegian so that's why I feel a little bit more confident when I speak in front of the camera in Norwegian because then I know all the terms I don't have to worry about that so I can worry more about like editing or like what what type of like effects I want to add into the videos and stuff like that uh, yeah so will you still be living in the Netherlands after you graduate your bachelor so yes I will I will continue living in the Netherlands. I really, really, really love it here and for now I will be then, uh, since I am doing applied sciences, I have to do a pre-master before I'm doing the master. So first I will do that, I will do the pre-master and then the master. So 
In the Netherlands, you have to do a pre-master if you're doing applied sciences, which is interesting. I think it's gonna be quite like hard because a lot of the pre-masters are like really like theoretical, a lot of methodology, a lot of statistics I've heard. So it's gonna be a really, really interesting year, I think. And the pre-masters are sometimes six weeks. They can be six uh, months and they can also be one year. So the one at uh, Erasmus University, for the one that I applied for is one year. The one at Tilburg is six months for the pre-master and then one year of master. So I'm really like thinking about what I really want to do. And yeah, I just really hope that I make the right decision. So that's on my mind at the moment. Um, it's been taking a lot of energy and a lot of like, what do I want to do? It's, uh, it's crazy now because now I'm actually graduating, which I can't, understand and I really like we don't have any ceremony like we don't have a graduation ceremony because of corona but I was like oh on the 11th of July it's gonna be so much fun because me and my girls we were gonna dress up we were actually gonna go and like yeah dress up having like a nice graduation uh, party together and everything but now uh, we'll have to postpone that but some some of my friends are actually leaving the Netherlands after graduation so I don't know when I will see them again so that's really sad but yeah uh, I mean they will probably not be too far away so they can always come back to the Netherlands and then we'll have dinner together when that happens and then shout out to my girl uh, she like she also was on my channel at the beginning of this and now she got a job offer and i'm so happy for her it's so exciting that i got like to like that we like that i got to go through the journey with her like she was kind of losing hope because of the whole corona thing and now she got a crazy 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 good offer from a really big firm like it's one of the big four so i'm really really happy for her she's my best friend here in the netherlands and we met in 2016 like six months before um yeah my first study in the netherlands which is so crazy that we still kept in touch and now yeah now she got a job at one of the big four which is so crazy so shout out to her it's so exciting it's really really cool and yeah she motivated me so much to be like okay i'm gonna go for the master because yeah i mean it wasn't easy but definitely she deserves it so much so that's so crazy exciting and also my sister also is graduating her masters and uh, yeah she has um, two bachelors and a master and she also got a job offer during this corona times which is also super crazy my family is super proud and happy and yeah she's amazing like she's always been my like photobilde in Norwegian which is like the kind of person that you look up to so my sister congrats on a new job so that's like getting a new job is such a life-changing experience that yeah it's just so life-changing and i'm super happy that like my close people are getting like the jobs that they wanted and things are still happening even though it is corona so that's really motivating for me too <laughs> i'm just like well the world is not standing still um okay so um how do you work with your internship now so since because my internship it was at the um at the beginning it was at uh, the head uh, the headquarters of Unilever which was so crazy amazing I never like it was so freaking cool they had like a gym at the bottom they also had like a Lipton bar which was like a cafe and like own supermarket with all of their own products and like a hairdresser at the bottom of it which is like so crazy to think about right now and yeah and then in march they like send everybody home because of safety reasons and then now i just work from home so i took my i got my company laptop and then brought it with me home and then though usually every other day we have like a team meeting and yeah it's still working really fine like I, i'm still like in a good contact with people and also i'm glad that we had the intern day like in person before the whole corona thing happened because then I met some really lovely friends, um, Melanie and Sandra and uh, a lot of other people as well. And yeah, we also have been keeping in touch, which is really, really great. 
and we like talk about the internship our experiences and yeah it's really great and since they are actually gonna stay in Rotterdam then I still uh, broaden my network so that's also really cool been any difficulties since um, corona started so of course it has been some difficulties in terms of like uh, sometimes I tend to overthink a little bit too much and like worry about the future because usually I am really like a planner so I try to plan things ahead so for example for my first bachelor I already knew like six months before the bachelor like almost a year beforehand what I wanted to do and how I was gonna get in and how was like everything gonna happen was gonna happen and then this year actually since everything like came so uh, fast I don't know since January everything has been like crazy fast I've just been super busy with um, the internship that and thesis that I've just been like oh oh no oh and then I have to like yeah and then they opened the the application process for the masters and then I was like wait which master am I actually gonna do so I've been thinking about a master during uh, like before like in my second year of my bachelor's and then suddenly it was like time to apply and everything so then I had to write like a motivation letter I also talked with some students that had previously done it before and all of these things like I do a lot of preparations before hand and then suddenly now it's like the time for all of the things to come together and yeah it's been a crazy ride but yeah that's definitely has been challenging like keeping motivation when I'm home and keeping like my productivity on point when I when it comes to like doing other stuff than just work as well so um yeah talking with my family they that usually helps a lot and but sometimes I just yeah I guess I keep myself busy to like not think about it too much I mean corona is like a really scary thing and yeah we hear a lot about it on the news. I take like every safety precaution that the government uh, says. Like I don't go to the park. I barely go out to be honest, which is really terrible. But yeah, uh, at the moment I'm not really a person that goes out a lot. Uh, we only go out for like groceries or uh, like if, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Maybe I take a walk like every now and then, but then it's only like maximum twice per week, I think. So yeah, I also try to work out a little bit at home, but lately I haven't felt the motivation to, but I will definitely start again once I have a little bit more time. So for example, in the weekends, I try to work out a little bit, maybe like bike for 16 kilometers. So yeah, that was a little bit of an update from me. Uh, I think, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry that it wasn't really like, and um, yeah it was just like a little bit of an update on what has been going on lately what is going to happen in the fall and what my plans are and everything so that was it for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye